Self-Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress-free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, this is W. Mark Watts. Welcome and thank you for hanging out with me for another episode of Self Love is the New Sexy. And today's episode, for lack of a better title, I couldn't really think of anything uh, that really spoke to what I wanted to, to get into tonight. So I just called it my latest health scare. Uh, hopefully that catches your attention so that you'll tune in and kind of listen to what's going on with me. And hopefully the end goal is that you will pay special attention to yourself and be sure to take care of things when when they arise. So um, over the last almost three years now, um, there's been some very interesting things happening to me on a physical level. Um, I've been an athlete, been active my whole life. And then all of a sudden come. I guess what year 48 or so things started to shift so much so that um, I felt one day had very strong heart palpitations. And I was at a football college football game with my friends and um, just a normal warm day, but I'd actually been under the, the uh, overhang for quite some time. So I wasn't sweating. I had not overexerted myself or anything. But I got excited toward the end of the game. And then that's when everything broke loose. And I really felt like I was going to pass out. So much so that I had to go sit down and lean back against the wall, cement wall, and tell my friend to call for help. So that was the start of this journey that I'm on right now. And so that's another part of why I do this podcast is because you know, self-love, it trickles into every area of your life. And I want you to be aware of that because I think sometimes people can take things for granted or maybe move too slowly or maybe ignore signs. Um, I think back to my own mother who passed away at 49 years young of arterial sclerosis, hardening of the arteries, and some of the symptoms because that she was having but prior to she prior to having a heart attack and of course you know at that time no one had passed away definitely suddenly but not even really long term in our family so some of the things that she was experiencing no one knew uh to think otherwise about them she appeared to be in fairly good health she was going to the doctor regularly and had seen the doctor even in this instance. And so we all assumed or thought that she was doing the best. She, she was following, you know, what she was should be doing. She was doing what she was supposed to be doing. And, you know, unfortunately, the day prior or, or the day that she passed away from a heart from a heart attack that evening, the next morning she was going to see a different doctor because she was still having strong symptoms, uh, you know, numbness, sweats, breaking out in sweats, numbness in her right arm, and uh, some fatigue, and, of course, a high cause for concern at this point because it had been going on for a little while now. So so as I look back, excuse me, at my situation, of course that caused me and my family to really start to take a different look at or a deeper look, I should say, at our own health. Because quite naturally, when something like that happens, you know, you start to look at your whole family history, uh, definitely your own personal history. You start visiting the doctors more regularly than maybe you had been. 
start paying attention to situ- certain situations and feelings and, you know, all everything comes up. You know, what am I eating? How am I exercising? How do I feel on a daily basis? So on and so on. So as a result of where I am almost three years into this journey, you know, being healthy, super healthy my whole life, except for a higher cholesterol, which I have been working to uh, to lower and, and doing taking, you know, the necessary steps. I'm taking up cholesterol med now um, that my doctor prescribed and it has lowered dramatically. So I've made drastic improvements in some of the issues that that I'm aware of. But this one now kind of has me stumped. So let me just get to what I'm trying to get to. And the latest deal is as a time that I'm recording this, and it's a Sunday evening, early Sunday morning, I woke up, I was feeling warm, and then all of a sudden I felt a real warm breakout, real, real, real warm burst. And I was only under a light sheet, and um, so I, my first thought was, okay, um, let's meditate a little bit. Let's you know make sure we're calm and cool and collective on that front. So I meditated for about 10 minutes or so to a guided meditation. Still very hot, still v- really warm. And now this has happened. This has been an ongoing thing for me some, for sometimes, you know, maybe up to six months or so off and on. But this little peak of heat was a little bit out of the ordinary. So I start to get up to uh, turn the ceiling fan on because I had the AC down. Okay. And as I get to the end of the bed to reach up to grab the uh, ceiling fan string to turn it on, I realized I felt unstable. And the next thing I knew, I heard the door crash and I realized that I had crashed into the door, my back. So I'd fallen from the point of where I was about to reach up to, to, uh, turn on the ceiling fan to actually falling backwards into the door in my bedroom, which, you know, means that for a short period of time, second or two, maybe I passed out and I'd had a different episode similar to this, maybe four months ago or so. And I don't want to belabor the point, but I really want to get to this point is that Things are going to happen or things may happen in your life and you have to take them very, very seriously. Uh, That's a huge part of self-love. You know, self-love is really taking your personal health uh, super seriously and paying attention to it, doing those things that you, even if you don't think you need to do it, do those things anyway. Take precaution, get medical attention, you know, pay attention to everything. No, needless to say, I'm taking this very seriously. Um, going to the doctor tomorrow morning. Um, and this is part of an ongoing deal that I've been working with my doctors for some time. There's been several different things that we've been working on. So um, this is just one of those things that we have to try and figure out what's going on. Because in the past, we have not been able to figure out what leads to, you know, the flashes and the you know, the lack of consciousness and the unsteadiness and the, some of the things that happen on occasion. So, you know, we'll continue to work. I'll continue to do the best that I can and um, and work with my doctors and, and do more research and and follow what, you know, we think is the best course of action. But I really, really want you, the listener, my friends and family, to be sure that you're taking your health seriously. You know, be on the lookout for the little things, especially the big things. You know, when you get those big signs, don't put them off because they could be a lot bigger than you ever imagined. They could be life threatening. So also, again, those little signs that add up over time, you know, pay attention to how you feel when you feel really good so that when things start to shift or start to go become a little bit out of the norm, you can very easily and readily recognize them and notice them so that you can get the help that you need. So, and you know, maybe that starts with, you know, making 
regular visits to see your doctor, being uh, very vigilant about the things that are going on with your physical body, and also doing your own research and getting involved, you know, having conversations with your doctor, doctors about your health and about the treatments they're suggesting and about the way your body is responding, your mind is responding to those things. So it's a two-way street. You know, you should not only listen to what your doctor or doctors are telling you, but you have to really be an active participant. You have to do your homework. You have to pay attention. You have to give them updates. You have to ask questions. You know, it's, it's very, it's crucial because when your body is doing things like, like my body has been doing over the last three years almost, you know, the, there are answers and your body's speaking to you and that's how your body speaks. And so um, I'll continue to do the work that I need to do to try and figure out what's going on so that I can get better and feel more confident and comfortable with, you know, what's going on with me on a daily basis. So I'm going to end up here, you know, um, take precaution, pay attention, do some research, communicate. Well, go to see your doctor regularly, communicate with them, talk with them, ask questions. And by all means, take every step that you can to be as healthy as you can on a daily basis because that in and of itself is one big piece of what self-love is all about. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to stop there. It's such a pleasure to be with you all again today, and I enjoy speaking with you. Remember, hit me up wherever you find me on social media. Let me know that you're taking your physical wellness and health as a top priority and you're being an active participant in making sure that you do everything that you possibly can to be in tip-top physical condition, whatever that means to you. All right, be good, everybody. Talk with you again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.